new music, there's not a lot of new music that moves me. Do you know, I can still go back and be re-inspired by something that's buried on my iPod from right. 20 years ago, but there's a lot more new film that inspires me than new music. Well, how do you listen to new music? Do you listen to the radio? Do you listen to buy I don't really listen to a lot to new music. music. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, with three kids and, and the morning grind and, you know, sometimes Jessica takes one or two and I'll take one or two or whatever. You know, there's a 15-year-old who's a, a mad music fan. He sort of keeps us up to date on, on some of the newer stuff that we should right. listen to. Um, but I would say basically probably 98% of the music that I listen to is in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, so between uh, the iPod, uh, the classic iPods and um, satellite radio, it's probably 80% iPod, 20% satellite radio. The kids hijack it. <laughs> so I'd say 90% of the time the kids, you know, and sort of. But this is where the, the good part of playing them Guns N' Roses and Deep Purple and Black Sabbath and ACDC and all that stuff from a few years back. That's kind of the stuff that's being played in the car a lot. Huh. Well, the 15-year-old plays a lot of, you know, Arctic Monkeys and mm -hmm. Foo Fighters and Queens of the Stone Age and stuff. So that's... That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say other names, but it's not mm -hmm. sort of pop music or whatever. So 